Over a year ago I tried to connect to my NAS from MS-DOS, but we ran into a major roadblock. We are using MTCP, a collection of DOS network utilities developed by Michael Brutman. Load a packet driver for your network card, run DHCP to get an IP address and we're good to go. Running a FTP server on MS-DOS worked without any issues. You then use a modern computer on your network, fire up a FTP client like FileZilla and you can then copy games from your NAS to the MS-DOS retro gaming PC. But then I tried running the FTP client under MS-DOS and connecting to the FTP server running on the NAS. That way we don't need to use another computer. It is nice to be able to do everything from the MS-DOS machine. I was able to connect to the FTP server just fine, browsing directories and copying individual files using the get command also worked fine. But when using the mget command to download an entire directory, we are getting an error. It turns out that the DOS FTP client sends a nlist command requesting a list of just file names with no other information. However, pro FTPD, which is what pretty much all the NAS devices on the market use, sends additional information which causes issues. Now the behavior of nlist can be configured with pro FTPD by setting list options, but of course this is not exposed to the user on a NAS. Just so you know, Marco from Asus Store sent me a NAS a while ago to use for my retro projects. So I asked him if there was a chance of implementing a workaround. I also got in touch with Michael, we looked at the log files and identified the issue. Now what are the chances of a company committing resources to fix a compatibility issue with a 40 year old operating system? Pretty slim usually but AC Store and Marco are different. Marco is not just uh, an employee, he has a real passion for new and old computers and Asus Store is small enough to yeah change direction even for weird requests like ours. Anyway we have a workaround. Here we are looking at an unreleased build of the ADM operating system. Tick this box under FTP service and we are good to go. Here I am using the mget command to copy Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis onto my DOS retro gaming PC. So yeah guys, now we can connect to a NAS from MS-DOS and if you are lucky enough to have a 10 bay NAS with 20 terabyte drives, yes, you have access to 200 terabytes of data from MS-DOS. Now in terms of usability and what I recommend is definitely running the FTP server on the MS-DOS machine. It just works really really smooth and convenient and you can copy uh, entire game libraries including subdirectories without any issues. For this project we're using a slot 1 motherboard from AOPEN. We have a Intel Celeron running at 266 MHz and 256 megabytes of RAM. For graphics we have our NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200. Storage is handled by a SD to ID adapter with a 16 gigabyte SD card and our network interface card is from Netgear. You can use all sorts of cards. All you need to make sure is that there is a packet driver for MS-DOS. So guys, there's more to come in a future video. I had to use a 30 meter ethernet cord to run from my router to my computer lab. In a future video, I want to show you how you can use wireless with MS-DOS. You need to buy a wireless access point that can uh, do a certain function. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'm also working on some sort of a boot floppy that has the FTP server all pre-configured. You just boot up from that uh, floppy drive, connect to the FTP and yeah, you can then uh, basically set up MS-DOS, uh, partition your hard drive, copy over the boot menu, the drivers, the games and so on. So yeah, um, I've recently relocated, so I'm still sorting out the new, the new house, but um, getting there slowly. So do expect more videos in the future. And that's it for this video. Yes, it took over a year to make, uh, but how cool is that? 
a company that listens to the retro community and, and actually uh, takes the time and uh, invests the resources of implementing a workaround for us. Uh, yeah, really, really good. So um, yeah, we've done a full circle basically from Windows 11 to MS-DOS. Uh, we had a look at Windows 98 and of course Windows XP, uh, Vista, all these operating systems you can connect to a modern NAS. A quick uh, tip about security, and I got that uh, comment quite often with the um, security with old networks and old computers that they can be attacked. Um, yeah, I got a tip from Asus Store, and that is basically uh, manually configuring the DHCP settings in the NAS and removing the entry for the default gateway. That means the NAS is now offline. You basically have a local LAN and um, yeah, I've done that and haven't had any issues and I can network uh, from all of my machines. So very convenient. And that's it for this video, guys. Um, I'm sure Marco will leave a comment down below. Uh, give him a thumbs up, leave him a thank you uh, for contributing and helping out the community. And if you have any questions to do with this project and networking and NASA's in general, do ask them below. He really knows his stuff. And um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I shall see you soon with another one.